All right. Um, yeah, there's another PayPal request from Todd. Uh, my, my new love, Alanis Morissette. Thank you. Live at Woodstock. Again, if this gets blocked out, if I have to block the video out, it will be on my Rumble. Um, so everybody have my Rumble because, yeah, you just can upload anything on there. So, um, but yeah, Alanis Morissette, thank you. Let's go. Again, I don't know this song, so. See, again, I don't think I've heard this song, but I don't know if it's just her voice. You just kind of know her voice because it, again, it sounds familiar, but I'm waiting for her to kind of do a bit I know. Do you know what I mean? But I don't think I've heard this song. Like the last two I I had heard or did, did know, but didn't know, if you know what I mean. to say i don't know what her influences are but every song i think i've done of hers there's been a kind of hip-hop vibe to it like with this one it's the boom bap drum beat behind her and it does tend to be the drumming she's got i don't know whether she like yeah was influenced by that by hip-hop at all but also this one's harder to hear the words because her words are fire too.
How many people are there? Yeah. I just love her. I love her whole vibe. I love her look. Like, there's such a regular thing about her. Um, but when I was, yeah, in that song, I was thinking there's a, there's a newer art, there's a newer female artist. That's what I think I was hearing. Because I definitely didn't know this song at all. Like, it wasn't like the last two where I was like, ah, oh, yeah. Like, whether it get to the chorus or whatever. But um, there's a new, there's a newer female artist in her who sounds like her. And I could not put my finger on who. Because um, a part of me was thinking as well, is there a dance like a dance music song, even. It's really, it was really bugging me. There was something about her singing in this that, um, yeah, was giving me vibes of someone else, but definitely a more recent female. It was just the way she was singing. But yeah, like I say, it was harder to hear the words on this one than the other two. Um, but yeah, still, she's is just fire. She's just so cool as well. Her presence on stage is just so. Like this was more of a chilled one. Um. But yeah, just the way she kind of like in it. I I can't again. I can't put my finger on it. It's just something so kind of regular, and so kind of non show busy about her. Even like to how she's dressed. Like I say. She's like, like, you're talking pixies kind of dress code. When you see the pixies playing, they all just look like they just finished a day's work in their clothes and went and, and, went and played. Like, and she's got that vibe too, just with the jumper tied around her waist. And yeah, there's kind of no... Again, there's no airs or graces about her. She just seems so regular. She seems so kind of down to earth and normal. Um, but yeah, I just wish, the only thing with this is I wish I could hear the words better. Because her words are great. She's got a great understanding of how to put words together. It's like I've listened to Hand in My Pocket and... What's up, one? You ought to know. Since I've reacted to them. And I still think the words is just great. But yeah, if anyone knows what I'm the the other artist I'm thinking of, I'm thinking it's a more recent girl singer. And she's definitely influenced by Alanis Morissette. But I just couldn't put my finger on it. And it, there might even be a dance version that she sings on of a song or something. I don't know, yeah, it was bugging me. It was bugging me. But um 
again, a great performance. And I'll tell you, you have to give it to our band too. Matey on the um, keyboard. And like I say, the drummer. The drums does sound very hip-hop. It's got that kind of hip-hop vibe to it. But then our words kind of fit that too. They're kind of very real type of words. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do another one now. That's the reaction. Sweet. 